Okay, just the first scrimmage at UCF. How did it go out there today? Well, it was a blast. I had an awesome time out there just being able to go out there uh, in the bounce house for the first time and uh, around my teammates and just being able to go out there and just have fun. And uh, we had a good crowd, a good turnout that came out and supported us uh, today. So it was a great turnout. KJ, what is there anything that now you're not, you know, it's an actual opportunity to go out there and kind of stretch your legs a little bit, I guess, whether it's not just a practice. What did you, what did you take from today's scrimmage and, and what do you need to maybe you guys as a group need to get better at? Uh, just um, actually playing football now. I mean, live football, tackling guys, getting tackled. We can see who can make guys miss, uh, getting the ball in the playmaker's hand, letting them make plays. So that was a big thing that uh, going into the uh, scrimmage uh, as an offensive guy, that's what we want to be able to see who can, who can make guys miss in open field. and take a, a five-yard game and turn it to a 60-yard game. So just being able to just do th things like that, uh, great turnout of uh, things for myself I got to work on, just being able to just, for the first scrimmage, just being able to get off stuff a little faster and uh, pocket awareness and things like that, the internal clock in my head, not sitting back there too long, get out and make plays with my legs, stuff like that. So. KJ, obviously chemistry is a big part of all that first scrimmage. You know, there's only so much time you guys had together, obviously. But uh, how far along do you think it's come, and um, what would you attribute to key elements of what chemistry you have, though? Uh, we're we we we're on a rise right now. It's, it's a positive outcome. Um, we are uh, heading in the right direction for us chemistry with the uh, wideouts and the running backs as well. We head in the right direction. Uh, it's still work that has to be done. Uh, things that we want to get better at. Um, so just being able to just go back to the drawing board, look at it, uh, watch the film to, as a unit, skill guys as a unit, and just uh, be able to go in and dissect the film on what I'm thinking and what they're thinking as well. So that starts right there. The chemistry start right there, just becoming a student of the game first. So just being able to draw, pull it up on film, see it, then actually take the film room out and uh, translate it to the field. Another question based on chemistry. How does your chemistry develop with the offensive line? I know that's a big part of success uh, that you've had in the past with the group at offensive line. Uh, I trust them. I mean, those guys up there, there's a veteran group up there, so uh, I put all my trust into those guys that they're going to uh, make the right calls and uh, protect as long as they can and strain up front uh, for me and the running back in the backfield. So, I mean, I put all my trust in those guys. They had a, a great turnout today. Things, like I said, things we got to clean up, but I mean, that's what you expect from the first scrimmage, uh, just being able to come out there and just uh, pick up and learn from them. Okay, yeah, I know obviously you're an experienced guy, but you're at a new school, new place, new coaches, new teammates. What's the most challenging aspect of just kind of jumping into a brand new team? Uh, I would say probably uh, just the uh, overall, just the environment, uh, just being able to try to adapt to the environment and try to adapt to your teammates as well. Uh, try to get just basically get off that learning curve. Um, I would say just being able to just come out and be yourself, uh, just. Then just, at that point, then it's just growing people, and then it, everything just falls into place. You mentioned getting out there with the bounce house. How, <coughs> how much do you look forward to having to go to the stadium full and actually feeling the bounce of the bounce house? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've seen videos of uh, got we guys in the locker room, and they can see the doors shaking and things like that. So I'm looking forward to a, a wonderful uh, atmosphere, a great atmosphere to go in and play in the bounce house. KJ, what were the challenges going up against the defense today? Obviously, again. You know, you're on the offensive side of the ball, but what would you like to see out of the defense today? Uh, they, uh, they forced turnovers. Uh, things are on the offensive side, we can't turn the ball over. If we don't turn the ball over, we have a great chance of winning the game. So that's the main uh, point of emphasis on the offensive side of the ball. We don't want to turn the ball over. And defense did a great job of creating turnovers, whether it was a uh, script uh, from the guy running the ball or an interception, tip pick, anything like that. So they did a great job today uh, forcing turnovers. And on the offensive side, we got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. KJ, what was the offensive highlight or highlights from today's scrimmage? Were there some individual plays that stood out to you? Uh, the young guys, the young guys stepping up, uh, not being afraid of the moment, uh, stepping in and making and making explosive plays. Uh, they catch the ball well down the field. Some guys scored. Uh, so I mean, that's what you want to see from the young guys that they're, they're growing up fast and maturing fast. I mean, we're going to need them at some point in the season. So just having those guys come in and do what they're doing and on the rise. So. KJ, how? What have you seen from? the rest of the quarterback's room and the, the guys that you're, I mean, how is that, you talked about chemistry, but how is it building that chemistry in the quarterback's room and how much of a, of a leadership role do you take maybe to some of the younger guys, the, the freshmen coming in that, that you maybe kind of take your under your wing or whatever? Yeah, I mean, we all feed off each other in that room. I mean, it's iron sharpening iron in that room. Um, there's no hatred in that room at all. Uh, we all learn from each other. We all coach each other uh, up. Uh, guys have been like Timmy Dillon. They always come to me and make sure if I got a question about a play or something, and, they always breaking it down to me, so I, to my understanding, and vice versa. I mean, it's, I mean, they ask me what I see when I come out the field, and we just communicate. I mean, it's all it's all love in that room, and we just want to see each other get better. 
KJ, obviously, it being the first scrimmage, there's not every single play goes according to plan, and you have that opportunity where you have to try to make something happen or, or, or you know, continue to mm -hmm. extend the play, whatever that is. Um, how important is, to, is it to get that experience in the scrimmage, and um, were there any moments where you got out of trouble like that and who helped you do it? Um, it's always hard being a quarterback in scrimmages like this because, I mean, the coach is blowing the whistle uh, quickly and things of that nature. So it's always hard. But it's also a good thing as well, just being able to be able to take the quarterback standpoint to the next level and keep your eyes down here, stay in the pocket, and deliver a good ball uh, just so it happened in the game. I mean, you don't want to panic and try to get out of there when the pocket's clear and everything. So, I mean, it's always a learning. I try to use that to my advantage. It's just, just a learning thing for me to just being able to get comfortable, being able to have trust in the O-line and pass protection, and I can sit back there and uh, deliver a great ball. So it's always good coming out of the uh, – it's always pros and cons to the scrimmage for a quarterback, but uh, overall, it was a good turnout. I enjoyed it. Is there a particular moment where you had to go off script that you felt like I'm that? No, I don't think I don't think so. I think we pretty much stayed on script uh, for the most part. I mean, as as an offensive guy, that's the main thing you want to do. You want to try to stay on script as, as as much as possible. I mean, so being with that being said, I think we pretty much stayed on script a little bit. Uh, we got kind of got behind the chains a little bit, but we kind of still stayed on the script a little bit. We didn't get too carried away with throwing in something new and just in, in front of us. So I feel like we stayed on the script pretty well. We just got to you know what I'm saying stay ahead of the chains. Last one for KJ. You talked about how being in the bounce house, getting that experience was uh, exciting to you. Is it making you more excited for the spring game? Are there be a lot of fans out there under the lights? I am. I am. I'm, um, I, uh, Coach Malzahn has told me time in, time out that uh, it's always a great turnout spring game under the lights on Friday night. So looking forward to it. Looking forward to uh, the bounce house uh, and getting that just a, 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 a teaser, basically a feel how it will be on uh, game day. So I'm looking forward to it, looking for a great turnout and a, a great uh, safe spring game as well. So KJ, what's it like working with these wide receivers? Um, I know Kobe has obviously been there. I know he's taken a break for a little bit of the shoulder and stuff, but um, how's it been like working with your receivers? Who maybe stood out to you? Other than great energy. I mean, those guys, each and every day they come out, they're willing to work, they're willing to learn as well, and they're willing to feed off each other's uh, energy. And they all, all of them coach each other up. Uh, Kobe's doing an amazing job coaching the guys up on technique, just him being a veteran guy. And the, Played a lot of games and see the experience, different things DBs do and stuff like that. So it's been a great, uh, great time uh, just working with those guys and guys that stood out like uh, X said, Goldie uh, stood out today, Bradell, Kaysen, uh Callum Fox uh, stood out. Uh, I mean the list just goes on and on. Those guys just standing out. So and they're, and they're growing up and maturing fast as well, which we need. We're very impressive players. Couple wide receiver ones today. X, uh, the touchdown I threw the X, uh, great release off the, off the ball from press coverage. Uh, Bradell had a one-hand catch uh, today that was outstanding. Um, go to catching traffic. Uh, go to had a couple catches in traffic. Kaysen being able to read the defender and run by the guy uh, for a touchdown. So all those guys doing an amazing job uh, just being able to catch the chances as well, being able to catch the ball and get uh, yak. I mean, that's the main thing we want to focus on, getting yak and getting down the field. KJ, have you had much chance to sit down and pick Gus's brain when it comes to offenses and, and kind of what his plan is for this, this offense? I have, I have. I mean, uh, on my recruitment visit, I mean, I came in. I mean, I didn't do the whole take pictures and everything. <laughs> we came in we straight to the meeting room. And we got to talk and straight ball. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, it's, the offense is pretty much similar to what I've been in in the past and just things that we did then and what we was, had great success on and what he's uh, incorporated here and what they had success on. We kind of. Bunted them together and things that I like and I'm comfortable with running it. First thing that he's uh, had great success with. So it's, a, it's always just going back and forth, great talks with him and just being able to just have a guy that, that understands that I'm coached on every level and uh, a great offensive mind guy. So just having a, coach, a head coach like that is a blessing. Have you? I know how much Cam, you talked about before. Uh, mm -hmm. Cam Newton was a big, you got like highlights and stuff on your phone, but <coughs> how much have you, have you had a chance to really pick his brain kind of what, what about that, about Cam and what he did? You know, when he was uh, yeah, I mean, we sat down uh, and watched uh, Cam Newton uh, games from when he coached Cam and things that they ran back then and how they read and things like that. And sometimes, Things that Cam didn't like at all, and he st he even showed me that like Cam didn't agree with this play right here because this type of look or everything he preferred this better. So just having a coach that's real flexible and the player coaching, and want to see you succeed and wants want you to be out there and be confident and play your game. I know it's uh, obviously the offense today is not a finished product product yet, but can you kind of get a glimpse? Did you get a feel for what it's going to be like this season? You know, working with the with the, your teammates around you. Yeah, uh, a lot of fire. It's going to be uh, explosive. Uh, to, I mean, today with me just being able to push the ball down the field, like X said. I mean, we know we can run the ball. We want to grow into passing the ball and 
extend the plays down the field and create an explosive uh, throughout the game and make sure we keep that momentum on our side and make sure we're on the rise and things like that. Because, I mean, the momentum, uh, we want to keep that at all times. I mean, we don't want to give it to the other team at all. We want to keep the momentum, keep the energy going and things of that nature. So it was a really good turnout today, being able to just create explosives and push the ball down the field vertically. You mentioned, it's early, but you mentioned Pushing the ball down the field being a growth for improvement. Mm -hmm. what, what steps have you guys been taking to do that? What has been different? Uh, just being able to give uh, the receivers an opportunity. I mean, we call it opportunity ball. So just giving those guys a chance, I mean, to make a play on the ball. I mean, that's what uh, big time players make big time plays. So just being able to just put them, trying to get the ball in play, make his hand, let them make plays, and go up and uh, grab 50 50 balls. 50 50 balls for us is 100 to 0, you know what I'm saying? So just being able to give guys a chance to uh, go up and make plays. How are you like in Orlando? So uh, I'm loving Orlando. I mean, great weather. I ain't got to worry about being too cold or nothing. So, great weather. Uh, the vibes are good. Uh, loving the people in the community as well. I mean, they all they welcome me uh, with open arms. Anytime I go out, it's always great, uh, great vibes and uh, good attention. So, I, mean, I know I know how much you said you look forward to getting in the bounce house, but how what's the excitement growing up before this season? I mean, Big season come up last year, something to Uh yeah, like you said, I mean I got something to prove. Uh last one, last go round. So uh, just going in with that mentality that uh nothing can stop me. Uh I know I've been faced with a lot of adverse situations in my life. So just being able to use that as motivation as well. Uh people counting me out and think people say I couldn't get it done and I just wanna go in and prove everybody wrong. So I'm looking forward to just getting out there and showcasing my talents and being able to just be KJ. KJ, the first time you talked to us, I'd asked you about, you know, coming in and you would said it was an opportunity to kind of get that fresh start and mm -hmm. get one big hurrah on your way out. Um, obviously, the goal is to win the championship, no question. But what is it you'd like to see? Um, what is it What is it that you'd like to show out, among anything else, for yourself uh, in your last campaign here? Uh, uh, that I'm a quarterback first. I mean, I can I can I can make plays with my legs, but I also can uh, throw the ball as well and be accurate with the ball as well too, and make great decisions with the ball. And I turn the ball over and put our team in uh, in harm's way. So that's the main thing I want to do is be able to go out there and uh, sh showcase my skills, showcase um, uh, what it takes to be a quarterback in uh, Big 12 in a, a conference like this, and be able to just go out there and have fun with it at the end of the day and uh, just get back to knowing what I love. More of, fun, more. more of a fun question. You're probably seeing Coach Malzahn talk about some of your game from and some of the hits that you brushed yeah. off or like just threw the guy off. You. What are your thoughts on that? And uh, it just for me, it's just a mentality thing. Uh, it just one man like my mentality is just one man can't tackle me when I'm back there in the pocket or if I break a run. I'm not trying to let one guy bring me down as well. So, and I have to hear from my mom too. So I mean, I, that's the last person I want to hear from. So, just not being able to hear her mouth saying you let one guy tackle you or you went down soft or anything like that. So I just always had a mentality that one one person can't tackle me, and I'm always trying to. It created an explosive play. I mean, when the team is down, the energy is kind of low, I can be able to provide that spark to get us back going, to get us back on track. How much does your mom, the, you talked about how she didn't want to hear from your mom, but mm -hmm. how much is she in your ear when it comes to how you play and your performance on the field? She's my biggest critic. Uh, so, I mean, I love that, you know what I'm saying, coming from somebody so close uh, that actually knows football, knows what she's talking about. Uh, she understands the position. I mean, she knows everything from a bad throw, what it could have been, footwork, anything. So, she's real, real, real picky on the things that I do. And, uh, it just, like I said, it's a great turnout to have somebody that close that understands football and just want to see me succeed and me me uh, reach my full potential. So it's a great turnout, even though we we bump heads a lot. We bump heads a lot, but even when I'm out there on the field, I still can hear hear her voice, hear what she's saying, and stuff like that. So it's good. What's your mom's name? Katori. Okay. Appreciate it. Good stuff. Thanks a lot. Thank you, KJ.